What's up Fire Techies? Team Fire Tech USA doing how to fire your system using only a computer and not having to put together any sequences and not having to have a remote or a trigger wire directly from your computer. So in order to do that you need to set up one of your modules in master mode so that can talk to all your other modules through the wireless network. Um, in order to do that with it not plugged into your computer what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the green button while turning it on and that's going to bring it into master mode. So once that come up we're going to take that in and make that ID number one so hit your green button again. Now to bring it to master what you're going to do is hold push your blue and then your green. So hold your blue go into green then it comes into master mode. Now what I found out is if it's plugged in your computer it will automatically go into master mode. You don't have to do that second step. So that's our number one. We're going to bring up module two and we're going to bring up module three here. We're going to make this, let's go ahead to two, make this guy three. And then if you notice, they're both 3S, 2S, 1M for slave, slave, master power on, and two slaves. So that's recognizing our two slaves. Um, as far as I know, you can have as many modules as you want on this. Um, but if you're doing this kind of show, you're probably not going to have that many because it would get way confusing and you'll be into script and shows. So that's it. Um, we'll jump over to the computer part on how to fire it. And we should be good to go. So the program that we're going to use is called Pyrognition. To get a copy of this, what you want to do is you want to email us here on our website and we will get you a link to it. Um, the new website will, should have the link directly to it so you don't have to have it sent to you and you can just click on it and download it. And that'll be coming, should be coming spring of 2019. So after you get your program, get out of this, when you get it, it's going to look like firetech.10.11.18. That is the most recent version. So once you unzip it, you go into computer software, pyrognition, pyrognition control. And that is what the program looks like. So the four main things we're going to look at on this to fire it, basically hand fire it from your computer, is Windows. We're going to use ignition system. Settings is a connection to the module. Your status down here that's going to tell us if we're connected or not. And our ARM software. So what we're going to get into is, oh, well, let's connect first. We're going to connect, connected to ignition system. Ignition system. Now you don't need any of this other stuff. Module test. We're going to module test. And this is going to tell us what's going on. This is in this mode in idle mode, it pings your different modules. That's what the three are here for zero milliseconds and success. And this is what you will actually fire with in any order you want. You push the button and it fires. Here's your signal strength. Here's your battery. And then these are your tabs. Master module one, module two, module three. And to, you can take those out of here if you're flipping through the different tabs. And then when you want to bring them up, you have to bring them up in the side over here. You can't bring them up, bring them up there, and then we'll put three over here. So that's it. If you're firing, since we're in idle, we can't fire. You just hit fire whatever you want. So say we're ready to go, everything's set up. We're going to get out of this. We're going to close out of this. Show's ready. Come over here and you're going to arm your software. No messages or any reports came up that we're not doing something right. We'll come back over here, ignition system. Module test, armed all devices. Now sometimes that'll just say arming. I don't know why it doesn't say arming, but as this time it said armed all devices and we're pinging every three seconds and it won't show all three. So now this is ready to fire. So if I come over here to one, when I push press this, it's gonna fire. Now I notice is when you down press on your mouse, it doesn't fire anything. So if you push, 
it won't fire. When you let up, is it fires, and this gives you a report of what fired. Up here it says, hey, I fired. Module 1, Rail 1, Key 1. So that fired. So you can sit here, whatever you want, fire through those. Say in Module 3, you got some 3 inch in back or something, you want to shoot some of those. That'll fire those. Module 1, you'll sit here, fire that, whatever you press. So if I want to go Module 4, or no, Module 1, Rail 4, Q12, there. 1, 4, 12, so it gives you a report. And that's firing. And that's all you need to do. You fire your show, say you wrote out a script on paper, you just want to go right through it, you didn't have time to sequence anything or program anything, you just want to push buttons and go. That's all you need to do. When you're done, close out of this, close out of this, disarm here, and you should be safe out on the field. And that's it. That's all you need to do to use that aspect of pyro ignition control. So that's it. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.